Hello world and welcome back to Spyro the Reignited Trilogy where we're still in the Dreamweaver's world with only three more levels left to go and I think we should start off with a bit of the flight simulation with Icy Flight. Let's jump straight into it. Let's see what sort of things do we have to collect this time, probably more gates. Oh, we've got, the, we got these guys. Oh, and I instantly want to restart. <laughs> so we are going to go for um, the lights first, because they're right in head. And we've got copters this time, instead of planes. Ooh. So we had a bit of a problem last episode. Whereas I didn't actually turn things on correctly. Which was silly of me. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's working. It's no longer working. Ooh. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. But it seems to be working out. I think I missed something, though. I think I missed a few chests, yeah, clearly. Is this the last lighthouse, anyway? Here it is. Okay, uh, I don't know which way the trains are coming from. That answers the question. We're going to follow all the way back. There's the copters as well. Probably should actually stay here and do the copters, but never mind. Never mind. Oh, there's more copters here anyway. Oh, I missed. Okay, copters, copters. Go back and do the trains and the rest, so. It saved us kind of having, having to come back here. And I missed. Let's try again. Um, make our way through. We haven't been through the ice cave. Any more copters? No. Alright, this is definitely going to be a fail, this one. Yeah. Okay, let's have a little look around. So there's one chest I missed. So how well did I do? Uh, miss. Oh, there's only two more trains. Or oh, I guess one more train because of the, there's two on a barrel. Or there's two barrels of a train. And there was three copters and two chests. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Definitely think the lights are the way to go, to begin with. Since they're smack bang right in front of us. See, there's a chest of mist. I think maybe if I do this. Okay. If I didn't hit the wall, it would be a bit better. We've got to do the all in one. Maybe we, if we go around the other side and get the chest on the way. Yep. Maybe it's worth doing a bit of a loop. Going around doing the trains, then the copters, then coming back and doing all the chests. I think that might be better. Nasty norks. Yeah, let's get this train. Let's do the copters. And get the other trains as they pass the way through. In fact, there's only three copters here. Oh no, maybe I heard one on the side? No. Awesome, so there's definitely only three there. Oh, we did all the barrels. Lovely. So just copters and it's just chests. Oh, I reckon this one's in the bag, guys. Except when you miss. That's going to put a big damper on the time. Right, that's two. Now, I believe there's only one more light. Well, a lot of times going, though. They're having to go back really, really hurt. Yep, don't think it's happening. Oh, what do we reckon? If I don't miss, maybe, maybe. Okay, we managed to do it. Like I said, in the bag, I never doubted myself ever. We could definitely do that quicker, but we're not one for caring about the records. Awesome, two more levels left. There's one directly below this place anyway. And how many was that? Oof, nearly 9,000. Awesome, I thought it was about to shove us into the river then as well. There's a door down here that's just not hang about. Where are we going? Lofty Castle.
We have arrived. Chest right at the start. Oh, weird birds. Okay. So, I've got stuff to talk about today, actually. So, I mentioned in a previous episode that I got a load of pottery done. And I actually got it back. I may have spoken about this in a previous episode. I don't actually remember. But since I did Spyro, I thought to do a dragon. And I was really worried how it turned out. But I got it back on Saturday. It's now Monday. And, um... It's wonderful. Um, the glazing on it turned out really nice, actually. I'm really surprised. Some things are a bit down. I posted it on Twitter. Um, there's a link down to that in the description. And I'm really proud of it. I mean, the the rock is quite big, actually. It was 30, uh, 30 pounds um, to actually buy the thing, so I'm glad it turned out all right. What actually what happened though is with my um, my girlfriends, they gave her the wrong bowl. So she bought a cat bowl of sorts and she painted it purple with white and purple stripes on the outside of the bowl. And for whatever reason they decided to, um, you know, give, <laughs> give her a blue bowl with, you know, cat paws. Because that's definitely exactly what she made painted. Like it even had a note on the side of it saying exactly what she painted. But still, they got it wrong and I don't understand how they managed it. So they had to ring me back yesterday saying, oh we've got it now. But some other woman had it. So hopefully we're going to get that back this week and actually see how hers turned out. See, who's here? Mudada? Fairies are always on your side, Spyro. Oh, he's a, he's a happy fella, isn't he? He's a happy fella. Oof. Seems a lot of fairy saving in this one. I don't want to jump down unless there's a way back up. Which I'm assuming is going to be that thing once we save three fairies. So let's go. Oh, there's a key. Okay, we definitely know we need a key then. Anything secret? Nope. It's nice seeing that they've brought over some enemies from the other level as well. So it's not all the same. Although having un un the, the uniqueness is quite nice. Pretty sure these fairies were just here just to get us back up. It's a bit of filler. Then you'll give me a save and then we move on. So we have to find a key. No idea where the keys could be. Let's go... Ouch. Let's go this way first. I'm not seeing... Okay, that might be the way we have to have to go. Let's go this way instead, then. I'm just making it up as we go along, to be honest. I just got an achievement. All puffed up. Is that from flaming all those puffy birds? It seems to be getting a lot of achievements just by accident. Ooh, what's up there? We managed to get 15 lives as well. No, 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 no. Oh, I didn't want to go up there. I could just jump back down, but first try. Oh, and I guess that's where we started as well. I guarantee there's some chests here, though. Of course, there is. Of course, I think I know how this game works now. Oh dear. Hey, listen, guys. Hey, here's the key as well, so we can backtrack. You sensei? You senai? Ah, Spyro. Thanks. Supercharge will get you to new places here in Lofty Castle, too. See where it takes you. I haven't even seen any superchargers yet. There must be one out here, then, surely. Yep. Of course. Where are we going? Let's keep running. This is clearly what you have to do. Ooh. Yeah! Did that first try. I'm sure we could have maybe kept going. I don't 100% know. Whereabouts are we now? Oh, this is exactly where the key needs to go in. Perfect. Smashing these episodes out. Or rather this episode out. We just seem to be getting all the areas. 
Last episode, I was having a real big struggle in finding things. It took me ages. So, there's no point in going back there. There's nothing we missed. So, yep, let's go this way instead. How do we get up there? Nope. Probably from there up. Another save point. Barutai? Baruti? Thank you for releasing me. Oh, that's all the dragons. If you haven't guessed, guys, I'm absolutely horrible with breeding. Reading? Breeding? What did I say? I'm absolutely horrible with reading. Such a strange nought. Like, why? What world do they think? Oh, yeah, you know what's a good idea? Let's just have a hover in a balloon. Oh, and that's how you're meant to do it. <laughs> Gotta make sure I don't miss any gems inside these um, grass bits because I've done that far too many times. Both at once? Yeah. The next area. This must be where the home is then. I have a feeling that there's going to be some secret area that we've missed. I know there's a bit over towards the start. Does he jump down at all? I wonder. I'm definitely going to jump down there. Probably going to be absolutely stupid. But I feel like there could be something. Like a massive funnel room? Of course there is. Besides, the save point's only just there. Alright, let's go. I'm probably wrong, but who cares? Yep, definitely wrong. I just had a feeling, though. And that feeling was evidently wrong. Oh, back we go. Didn't miss anything. Besides, get a few pips from these fellas. Oh, that's our first pip. Must have got one alive from the pips then. But where are we at? Look at his face. He just doesn't look happy. They're very easy to dodge. So if there's more of these things on the level, why did I get the puffed up achievement? Oh, I'm really confused. So that must be a way to get obviously back to the beginning once we free these girls. What have I missed? Oh, there's stuff here. It's not back to the beginning then. Ouch. What have I missed? I've definitely missed a gem in a rock. In the grass. There's a gem in the grass somewhere that I've missed. Oh dear. Right, I'm going to go through the whole level, quickly find it, and then I'll meet you back here. Or, actually, I'll show you where it is, and then I'll meet you back here. Hey guys, I have found it. There was two little one gems right here. Just after the supercharge part, or leading to the supercharge part. So I'll meet you back at the return home. And here we are, back home we go. 100% of the area, at least I'm pretty sure. Yep, 100% of the area. I think we've done everything in the Dreamweaver's place so far. We actually have. Let's go. Back home we go. Should be easily over 9,000 gems now. It's probably going to be, oh yeah, to defeat the final boss, you have to 100% every single area. That's what I'm imagining. Awesome. So the last place is actually the boss battle, I believe. Oh, let's actually collect all the pips. Yes, I believe the last thing is just the boss battle now. Ouch. Yeah. No idea what that says. Jakku is something, I don't know. Butchering names on the daily. That's what Mondays does. Just cannot read. Oh, and I'm loving the red. Right, let's see if we can cheese this one. Because we managed to cheese every single one so far. I feel like that's just a little bit cheaty. Oh, God. That, that looks, thing looks horrible. Okay, you let me go up. That's it. 
Oh, they're on pedestals. That one's going to be hard to bash. Um, I think I'm going to have to do some sort of jump bash. Oops. Okay, that didn't work. Let's go this way first, then. Do you do something? You do absolutely nothing. Oh, the gem had to land up there as well, didn't it? Of course. This place looks horrible. If that raises that, what do the other guy do? I suppose you have to do both of them. Yeah, that's what I imagine. Let's go over the easier side first. And do that. <laughs> I just did it on a whim. I don't like these guys on the pedestal. I mean, it works, but it's annoying. And I haven't seen any guys that help with sparks. I'm wondering if doing that other fella is going to drop that down. Or can we reach this? Oh, yep. Okay. That's not bad then. Any other people? No? Are you going to get hit? Woo, how do we not get hit? How do we not get hit? Oh, extra life. Back up to 15. And this time not miss any gems. Uh, is that the boss battle direction? Because it's looking like it is. Well, I wonder if both ways ended up getting to the same place. If it did, then I'm just going to go round, obviously. Ouch. I'm hanging about by the mam mum. The mum nork. Let's see, is that the same place? Yes, it looks like it. But we do have to find a way to get over there. But let's do the boss first, I guess. And let's also get a few more life hits or whatever they're called. Let's see what the boss is all about. Oh, he looks weird. Revillo. Any advice before this battle? Advice. Hmm. A wise dragon once told me aim high in life. But watch out for flying boxes. Uh, huh? Aim high in life. Does that mean we have to jump him? I feel like we're doing this way too easy. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, burn. Yeah, burn. Easy peasy. Oh, I died. But I got him. I got him. That counts, doesn't it? No. No, it doesn't. It's a failure. Oh, this guy's going to be easy. Let's just literally rush him and burn him. I'm sorry I'm cheesing this. I don't mean to. I think it's just because it's a kid's game. Yep, skill point acquired. I don't even know what the skill point was. But we did it! And what's this return home? Of course it is. But I don't want to return home, I want to go back and find that other way. So how do we think the other way works? I really don't know. This episode's gone by really, really fast, so I don't know. We'll probably be doing some levels in the other world. Unless we clear it all straight away, obviously. Right, so how do we reckon we get this to fall down? Is that doing anything? I can't tell. I don't think it is. My controller is vibrating slightly more and more. Ooh, there's a cave there. That's got to be it. 
Oh no, come on. Where's our save point? Do we have to go? What? We have to defeat him again? How does that work? Well, I'm just not going to do that. I'm going to go around this way this time so I can actually reach the cave. Lovely. Is that not going to push up? Or did I not get him? Damn it. Go both of them. Quick, 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 quick. You have to do them one at a time. Okay, I'm waiting again. There you go. And there's the key. Oh, is it just the key? Ah, oh, that's a shame. Uh, where was the box? Over there. Okay, well, we've got the key. That's something. Still don't know about how to get up over that side, though. Loads of gems. Oh, what are we thinking, everyone? What are we thinking? Uh, I'm thinking about just jumping off the cliff, apparently. <laughs> not exactly what I wanted. No, I'm not defeating you again. Well, I'm going to have to, but that's not what I mean. I thought we were saved, though. What if I do you and you? Yes, he's the he's that one. Yes, it was the other guy. I wonder what he what he did. Easy peasy. Now, what's this guy's name? Unica, Unica. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Take care. Oh, that's all of them. 100%? Oh, a whole secret area. Two whole secret areas. What do you do? You obviously do something. Oh, okay, you do the wall coming out. Okay, let's go this way first then. Uh, it keeps going. Damn it. Should have gone the other way. Uh, can we just head back? Probably not. Please, 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 please. Oh, no, 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 don't go back. Don't go back, don't go back. Oh, that was close. Awesome. Now we can go back. This is gonna make us, oh, we can go through it. Anything here? No. We're gonna do have to blow them out one at a time. Ouch! Oh, there's a platform here. <laughs> that was lucky. I, I fully thought I was just gonna go straight into the lava. But give us multiple attempts then. Never mind, the attempts are out the window now because I just decided to kill myself. That's the big problem I seem to have: just never doing the the glide at the peak of the jumps. They respawn, of course, they respawn. Oh, hello. Apparently I collected the others, and that's 100% level. Let us leave. Oh, nearly died again. Let's see. Speed running the boss this time. Never mind, I can't even do two platforms. Right, here we go. Sell fast. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, we know what we're doing now. Oh, we still got hit. Oh well. And return home. I think we. I think the Dreamweaver's world is the first place we've 100%ed the entire thing. 
which is really good. So straight on to the Nasty Norks world. Nearly 10,000 gems. Awesome. I didn't. I don't actually know the requirements to go to Nasty Norks world. Well done, Spyro. I hope you know what lies in store for you. Nasty's world is not the friendliest place you'll ever find. Are you ready to go? Oh, we've already, we already got the requirements, didn't we? When, by the time we reached the Dreamweaver's world, we already got the requirements. Forgot about that. This place has got to be green, hasn't it? With the Norks. Either that or really dark. I have no idea. Place your guesses. Place your guesses. And I want to know why the balloon doesn't take us straight from the Artisan's world straight there. Ooh, is this it? Still purpley. Ah, it's industrial, of course it is. Hang on. Why is the balloon person right there? Is that it? Nork's Cove? What's this person saying? Oh, we can go, in we can go anywhere now. Ooh. I don't want to talk to him until we've, you know, collected everything. This could absolutely just be it. Delbin. Painter. Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro. And you are the dragon that must defeat him. Bring him on. I'm ready. Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. Oh, so it's a tiered thing this time. The tiered level. Okay, so let's have a look in the guidebook. Oh, there's 200 gems and obviously 100 uh, and two dragons. So I'm assuming we just want to go through. Let's see, what's the time? I reckon we have time to go through the first one, actually. No, we don't. I'm going to have to end this one here, guys. If you've made it this far in the video, then please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. We have finished the Dreamweaver's world, and it looks like we're going to be going full steam ahead into defeating Nasty Nork. Now, I don't know if this portal is just going to teleport us, like, over there, so we can do things one at a time, or if there's a whole section I'm completely missing. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time.